Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So I wanted to go over how to set up for a CT scan using IV contrast. So at my facility, we actually use two different types of IV contrast. And what does IV stand for? IV stands for intravenous, meaning it's injected through the vein. The correct name is actually iodinated contrast. And that is because it contains iodine in it, which is actually a heavy metal and shows up radiopaque or bright on CT imaging because it limits the amount of x-rays that are able to pass through. We can use this to evaluate blood vessels and to better evaluate organs. The other cool thing is this 3D reconstruction. Before I inject the contrast, I always warn my patients that they're gonna feel warm all over, like they're peeing on themselves, and they might even have a funny metal taste in their mouth. So back here on my console, this is where I set up how much contrast to give and how fast to inject it. So here on this screen, you'll actually see 4.0 is our flow rate, and this is the volume of contrast and saline the patient will receive. So now you'll actually watch me set up the IV contrast and get it ready for a patient. We actually have these pre-made kits that we use to load the power injector. And this is the power injector. This allows us to inject the contrast without us actually being in the room exposing ourselves to the radiation. So since we use the console to set up exactly how much contrast and how much saline we want to administer, the power injector is really, really smart and it'll actually draw up the contrast and saline to that exact volume. So now that it's all done, you'll notice I'm using a paper towel to take that IV contrast off, and that's because it's sticky, icky, icky. Now this is the tubing that will connect from the contrast directly to the patient's IV. So you guys, this next step is so super important. Seriously, if you do not do this, you may end up killing your patient. I know you've seen it in movies. If you inject too much air, that is a dangerous thing. So you have to prime the tubing. Have to. Do not forget that. So the last step setting up the power injector is to pop on these warmers. And these warmers actually help with viscosity, which is the thickness of the contrast. The thinner it is, the easier it is to flow. And warming it thins it. So our power injector is prepped. And now we are pretty much ready for the patient. When we get the patient, we may or may not have to start an IV. If you'd like to learn how to start an IV, I actually have a whole video on my page about it. You should check it out, like, comment, and subscribe. But for CT, the only thing that's different is we have to use a large needle, 20 gauge or higher. One more thing to remember before we get our patient You'll need to stand behind the lead lined glass when scanning. The x-rays used in CT are actually pretty strong and you don't want to expose yourself. So you think you're ready? Let's go save some lives and stomp out diseases. 